Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to try if we can turn beautiful toys into deadly ammunition. <laughs> I bought some marbles, all different kinds. They're really pretty, I think. And we're going to try to see if we can shoot them into this block of ballistic gelatin. Remember, we tried pebbles last time and it didn't work out so well. And uh, then some of my uh, viewers said that maybe it's because it's not smooth enough, maybe because there's too much friction. The marbles are very smooth, so we'll find out. Let me show you the ammo first. Here we have a beautiful 20 mm marble, and it weighs as much as this little lead ball here. It's a 45 caliber lead ball. As you see, it's much bigger, but the material is much less dense. So this is a 25 mm marble, and in comparison we have this 54 caliber lead ball, which is just a little lighter than this one. Then we have the very big 30 mm one and here you can see it in comparison to a 90 mm lead ball which is about the same weight. So we have a slingshot that I specifically made for this purpose. It's made out of solid steel and it will cause the metal detectors at the airports to give an alarm. <laughs> so it weighs almost 500 grams. Um, it's stainless steel welded. Um, it's a really nice slingshot and as most of my effective slingshots you see it's very small. Once you hold it in your hands, you can't see it. And these are the deadliest slingshots. The less you see, the more efficient the weapon is. It also has this kind of thorn here, which was really dangerous because you can hit something with it while it's in your fist, like this. This makes a nice dent. And I'm shooting two layers of TheraBand gold um, in butterfly for the lighter ammo, and we're going to switch to a stronger slingshot for the heavier ammo. Wow, you see, it's a lot of penetration. A marble, unbelievable. Now we will try the 25 mm marble. It's interesting. It went almost, it went in almost as far. I would probably say they are, they went in just the same way. It's heavier, of course, so it's more energy. But it's a lot larger surface. So for the biggest 30 mm marble, we're going to be shooting uh, the hand howitzer that I made for Hogan castings. And this is set up with uh, one additional layer of zero band gold. Let's look at that in slow motion. This almost looks like a piece of art. <laughs> well, you saw that the steel ball that I shot through, of course, uh, wasn't stopped by the gelatin at all, but the glass marbles all got stopped about two thirds through the block. It went in far deeper than the stones, even though they weigh less than the stones that I shot into it last time. So it's really true, it's the smoothness of the surface that helps. And of course, the uh, steel balls have the best penetration. Let's try to shoot them against the wall and see if they shatter. Let's hope so. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's hard to believe. See that it broke little parts out of the rock. Okay, it spliced off a tiny little fragment. These are unbelievably solid. Okay, just for fun, we're gonna try to shoot a golf ball into the gelatin. It did not penetrate, but look what kind of a dent it created. That would have hurt so much. So these may look like toys, but they are deadly and lethal if shot from a powerful slingshot. It's also a clear demonstration that you don't need a lot of fog height to shoot large ammo. 
it's not a problem at all. It's just a flip of the wrist and then you can shoot without any kind of fork. Well, it was great fun and I'm really surprised. That's it for today, guys. Thanks and bye-bye.